Last season on Foursome, we laughed, we cried, we scored, but most of all, we lost. Friendships. I'm going back to homeschool. Alex! Clubs. You three suspended from football. And you three from media club. Courtney Todd, you are banned from all Brer High School events and property. And the one thing that can never be replaced. Wanna get out of here? My virginity! <laughs> Remember Breyer, the school where cool was defined by lettermans, and being the bomb was based on how hard you shook your palms? Well, ever since we lost our best players, the football team has been on a serious bleak streak of hardcore losing. And now, the chess is the best. Attention, students of Breyer. I'm ecstatic to remind you that a certain junkyard dumpster fire media club is still suspended. The only place to get the news is the paper. The newspaper. Why do you get to hold the microphone, Divot? Stan didn't name you the successor of the bulletin. It's just a matter of time, Peg. Hey, hey no, stop it! The old Briar, where Media Club was basically just a zone to learn how to bone, doesn't exist anymore. And no one, no one is taking this harder than Mr. Shaw. So sad. Even the foursome was highly affected by the events of Homecoming 2016. One member of our group left us forever. Oh, no, she's not dead. Her mom felt guilty for forcing her into public school after we all got in trouble. She promised Imogen she never had to return and moved to a compound for homeschooled kids, cutting off all ties to the outside world. The Bobcats have lost their meow. Everyone's having a hard time adjusting. Well, not everyone. <sighs> oh my god. I can't believe I'm that girl. What girl? I'm that girl who gets a boyfriend and wants to spend every second. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that makes me that guy. <laughs> I can't believe it's already been two months since homecoming. Winter break legit starts tomorrow. It moves by so fast when you're... Completely smitten? Oh, I was gonna say boning. <laughs> I just can't believe we've been able to stay in our little bubble. No brothers. No jealous ex-boyfriends. And no interruptions. Hey, Court. Oh, what's with the doom and gloom? I've been trying to tell Andy that I'm rushing Theta I.O. to Theta. Court, I don't know. I know firsthand how gnarly Greek life can get. You love being in a frat. Well, sure, now, but when I pledged, my brothers made me prove that I could boner it while watching all about Schmidt. I can handle that. Jack Nicholson is my jelly jam. Oh, plus, they're going to Beach Island for winter break. If I get a bid, I get to go. Sororities are, are, are way worse than fraternities. Why do you even want to rush? Justy, I really need your support on this. I mean, Andy's been MIA, and I'm MMA. Missing my Andy! I could really use some new friends, and I've always wanted more blood sisters. You trying Andy again? No. Dakota, maybe he's heard from our girl. Do you hear who Dakota hooked up with? Every student in the entire school. Yes, I heard he banged his teacher. It was Dakota and Mr. Zapp. Chemistry lab with the Bunsen burner. What was that? Eh, that's not with that. I Am Legend ain't just a Will Smith movie, OK? Reminder, the Math League pep rally are held at 1.30 on the quad today. I'm loving this new look on Brayer. Yeah. When did this happen? Probably while we were doing this. <laughs> well, consider me shocked emoji. I mean, if I knew putting my brother in ISS meant football would be on the outs and support of sweethearts on the in, I would have got caught in my lingerie years ago. Oh, you would have been 11, so I'm pretty sure for everyone's sake, I'm glad that you didn't. <laughs> I don't want you to go in. I'm gonna miss you too much. No, I'm gonna miss you too much. No, I'm gonna miss you. No, I'm gonna miss you. No, I'm gonna miss you. No.
Why don't you play hooky? I think it's math. What do you say, Rebel? Ditch city? Population us. <laughs> How we doing in here? Alec. Come on, bud. Buddy? Bud Ziff. <laughs> Can't bear seeing you like this. I should have never turned you kids in at homecoming. If I had known the butterfly effect, I would have never uncocooned. So you gonna you gonna pick that up, my pal? Surprised I moved that quickly. I haven't played ball in so long, I forgot I'd be flexible enough to bend down. You still got it? Look! Catch! Sorry. Oh. That is bleak. This is totally my bad. If I had just tightened Josh's leash earlier, none of what went down at HC would have ever happened. Kirsten, I'm just too f***ing nice. It's like totally snowballed. You got Alec, Josh, and Ken suspended from the team, and now they blow. The frickin' marching band took over the field. You know what, Kirsten? Those tuba pushers can keep it, because it was totally worth it. Some people deserve to be miserable. If we're gonna meet in your skank-ass dorm room at lunch, the least you could do without a candle. Oh, it smells like someone up and found Dory in here. Just keep swimming. You know I'm banned from prayer. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. I was preoccupied. Seems like you're late a lot. <laughs> At least it's not my period. <laughs> uh, uh, Andy, now that you're here, finally, I can tell you that my legend status has been selected. Thank you, Australia. Look at him! I swear, you're allergic to paying me attention. Bless this. I have big news. I'm rushing as... Oh, speaking of rushing, I got a jet. I made plans with Kent. I'd love to stay, but I promised him. I hate this so much. Bye! Gang, we have a prob. Thank you, Christopher Columbus. What a profound discovery. I'm... Mayflower. I have seen this a hundred times before. It is textbook first relationship, you know? You get wrapped up in the guy and you just ignore your friends. I haven't gotten a text response in days. No DMs for 12 PMs. Andy never answers. Desperate times call for desperate people. Imogen, Dakota, dial. The phone number you're trying to <sighs> I told you, homeschool is off limits. We've tried this already. I'm just struggling to believe that she's really gone. I'll never gone. Aw, I know. <laughs> well, best of luck to her. Oh, who gives a f We need to focus on the friend that didn't abandon ship. So what's the plan? I was thinking. <gasps> whisper, 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 whisper. Okay. You're gonna need some assistance. Yes, Court, you're really killing it. <gasps> and that's it. Intervention! <laughs> I can't wait to not have to get busy in a closet. Uh, well, there goes all our winter break plans for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Picture candles and a bike ride to a picnic. I even made swanky reservations at the Bloomin' Onion itself. God, you know romance. Intervention one. Keep what was once important at the top of your priority list. This will keep you busy, and distance makes the heart grow fonder. My distance is zero. I think I catch your drift. Wait, wait, where are you? Class! There's nothing else written on my hand. It's time for you to pause necking and stop neglecting the foursome. Probably not important. Miss Bixler! 
the beginning of class, when I see you're not here, I celebrate internally. And then you come in late. It's like you do it on purpose so you can see my spirit die. Well, take a look. I feel like this is an inappropriate distance for a teacher-student. Oh, my God. I see it. Get in your group seat for CPR. Um, I've been absent a lot. Do you mind reminding me where that is? We're practicing CPR. The person sitting next to you is your partner as you learn this life-saving technique from 1952. So, should we? Yeah, whatever. Look, Josh. Dude, you're pinned. You're forced to listen to me. I've been trying to talk to you for two months, and if this is the only time you'll listen, I'm taking it. That's funny, because I've been right here, and you've been a little preoccupied. You can't punish me for being with someone who wanted to be with me. I wanted it to be you, but... I screwed up. I know. Trust me, I know. Feels like all we've ever done is just hurt each other. Is that right? Yeah. We've never really been friends. I've just been Alex's little sister, and you've been, you know, my brother's friend I've had a crush on. Andy, that's ridiculous. We were friends. Neither of us were honest with each other. That's not friendship. Can we just start over? I hate Selena Gomez, but I'm seriously sick of the same old song. Aren't you? I mean, yeah, it's, it's not fun avoiding you in the halls. It's really hard. I'm willing to put this in the past. I miss you. OK, but just to be clear, it's a little weird that we're starting a friendship with you straddling me. <laughs> I take it you're on board, then? I mean, yeah. It's not like I'm a very popular guy right now with football and Greer. I'll take any friend I can get. Go ahead. Hey. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I know it was torture. Mm. I gotta say, May was right. Distance makes the heart grow harder. I think she said Fonda. I stand by what I said. Andy misunderstood my hand. She heard absence makes the heart grow fonder and applied it to that guy she's licking. Whoa! Hmm. Hello? Are you gonna apologize, librarian loser? Librarians smell of books and are the sexual fantasy of 42% of males, so thanks for the compliment. Besides, it is you who bumped into me. Do you know who you're talking to, Nancy Drew? Greer Ashton. You once had a snaggle tooth. You're a typical Sagittarius. And you're the girl who was just dumped for a sophomore. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, what? Intervention two. In order to be a bomb ass bud, you gotta put yourself first. Why is everyone busting in here giving us unsolicited advice? Great question. Dakota, what are you spewing about? Listen up, mom mannequin. You shouldn't just be doing whatever your boo wants. You're your own person, and you should be wearing the pants. Listen, she doesn't do whatever I want. It's okay. Dakota's right. I haven't been completely honest about what I want. I was just afraid to tell you. You seemed so into it, and I didn't want to disappoint you. Give me a fair go. I... I don't want to ride bikes. The seat, well... It hurts my butt. You know what? That's not the ride I care about. I, too, have failed. Courtney, you're our only hope. God help us. I can't talk long. I'm in the middle of pledging. You know, I don't know why peeps get so pissed over hazing. It's been a cinch for me. Don't worry. I've got a plan for blood, sis. Gather the troops and meet in my dorm in 30. Oh, also, can you bring some period blood? Like a gallon. Courtney, hold on your pants and come near the fire. <sighs> Way ahead of you, Betch. So where's Court? She's 
the one who demanded that I be here. <sighs> Good, you're all here. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna be real with you. You went from an eight to a seven. <gasps> Love it. What's going on? With this? Oh, I'm pledging tit and they dyed my hair, which is perfect, because that's what's gonna fix your stitch. Intervention three. Always put your friends first. Chicks before dicks. Hoes before bros. Whoresome before whoresome. This is my first Facebook official relationship. Can you blame me for wanting to spend time with him? I have a boyfriend, and I am totally happy to put him second all the time. You guys always come first. Yeah, but that feels a lot different because you have clear boundary issues when it comes to us. Plus, you've been dating since you were four. She was such a cute four. Wait a minute, how is you becoming a brunette gonna fix my sitch? Yeah, I'm also curious. Theta Iota Theta gave me all their pledge tickets because they got nervous I was gonna spill the beans about the hazing to Dean Loafer. An all expenses paid trip to Beach Island, the whitest beaches for the- Whitest people. They gave you that because of a mop swap. Not because of my hair, because of this. <laughs> yeah, I see why they gave you those. Makes sense. I'm in. I'm in. But this? You know, I would totally love to come with you guys, but I already made super solid plans with Kent. You guys know I would be there for you, and obviously, like, I want to come, of course, but <laughs> I'm a woman of my word. Thanks for understanding. My dark room is almost complete. The best part about being a reporter is you can take pictures of people when they're not looking. An entire room for the bulletin. Now, I haven't been this excited since I discovered staplers have a remover attached. On that day, I really let loose. Oh. I think I can cover something other than obitses here. I feel guilty waiting for someone to die. Shut, Shut up, up, Terry. OK. I guess I'll just give you Stan's letter later. What? Well, I should be the one to read it. I've been on the bulletin the longest. No one wants to hear your high pitch quacking the length of a letter. I could read it. Fine. Fine. <clears throat> Dear lackeys, as you're well aware, I have used my ginormous brain to graduate early and take the hard hitting job of actual reporter for none other than P M Z. Wow. It's very reputable. Even though I'm gone, I will not have my legacy destroyed. Cup of Bear is only suspended until after winter break. It's almost 3.15. Winter break is upon us. What do we do, Stan? It is up to you to prove to Principal Slacks that the bulletin deserves this space. Your mission? To follow the foursome on their winter break. Bring back dirt and get them banned forever. Are you with me? Yes, yes master. Chief. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the person I'm leaving in charge is... David. Yes. Go. Go to winter break. Destroy the foursome. Ha 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 How long am I supposed to laugh for? There's a ton of ha's. Ha 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 I deserve this. I'll prove that I'm worthy of the promotion. I will rise to the challenge. Kent. Hey. Uh. Mm. I just wanted to be winter break already. Just me, you, and nothing else. About that. I was so excited to spend winter break with you, but I just found out that my cousins from Perth are in town. We're really close, and I haven't seen them in a really long time, so I kind of need to spend time with them over winter break. Oh. It'll only be for a few weeks, though. It'll fly by, I promise. I mean, remember how good one period apart was? This is going to be so much better. Yeah. Yeah. No big D. <laughs> no big D, man. <laughs> I hope you have the best time with your Aboriginal mates. Uh, why are you talking like that? Are you okay with this? Because if you're not, 
and ask them if they want to split the time. No, go spend time with your family. We'll make up for it later. How about now? Right now. Right now. Yeah. You read my mind. Just giving it the old John H. Hancock. He invented the, uh, doesn't matter. So you excited that winter break starts tomorrow? I don't feel anything anymore. Ah, I'll come back to you. Especially now since you're off the hook with ISS, huh? Now it's nothing but Maxim, Relaxin, Saxon. You play? <laughs> I don't play anything anymore. Okay, well. Oh, I gotta get my wrist checked out. All right, so um, be sure to take care of that. No, that uh, thing. So. Shaw. Gang, great news. I've decided to join you guys on your epic beach vacay. You blew you off, huh? Can't have plans, right? I don't know. OK, yeah. But I'm still super stoked to soak up some rays with my bays. <sighs> Get over here, two-timer. We wouldn't be complete without you. Everything's perfect now that we're all together. Time off, peers of rare. See ya after winter break. Winter break, here I come! Oh, hey, Bob. I thought you left. Guys, this should really be shot. Come on now. They're trophies. Oh! <sighs>